being one of the leading harbors in the world. The city of Bombay is the commercial capital of India. Consequently, in this bustling city of nine million people, a great deal of time is spent in industrial and trading activity. Nevertheless, in the heart of the hectic city, there is the quiet Laburnum Road, where we find Money Bhavan, or the House of Money, in an average middle-class neighborhood. In most Indian languages, money means jewel. Now this building can hardly be called a jewel, but what it contains is priceless beyond any treasure. For it was here that Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi lived and worked. Money Bhavan houses the entire record from birth through the turbulence of life and history leading to the freedom of a nation. Gandhi lived in Mani Bhavan the house of a friend, whenever he was in Bombay from 1917 to 1934, for 17 years. It was from here that he launched Satyagraha in 1919 and civil disobedience in 1932. We welcome you to this humble house in which Mahatma Gandhi spent many years of his life. Nous La bienvenue à cette maison humble où Mahatma Gandhi a passé plusieurs années de sa vie. Мы приглашаем вас в этот скромный дом, в котором Махатма Ганди провел многие годы своей жизни. Money Bhavan houses a comprehensive library of the writings of those, both ancient and modern, who inspired Gandhi, the writings and speeches of Gandhi himself, and those who have written about Gandhi and interpreted the Gandhian outlook on life. Many people have spent many years collecting many photographs of Gandhi as possible, depicting his life from his childhood to his years in England, India, South Africa, and India again, up to his martyrdom. This is the room, preserved as it was, in which Gandhi learned how a villager spins cotton thread. This is the room in which all the leaders of the freedom movement came to express their ideas and ask his advice. This is the simple room in which a great part of the destiny of India was decided. Moreover, ever since cinematography came into being, all film coverage pertaining to Gandhi is preserved by the Gandhi Films Foundation in Mani Bhavan. This is the richest source of archival film material on Gandhi in the world. Anyone who wants any film material on Gandhi is always welcome at Mani Bhavan. Hundreds of thousands of visitors come to Bombay each year and among them there are those who want to know something about the saintly man who shook the might of the British Empire, greater even than the Roman Empire, and whose philosophy of positive non-violence not only helped to free India but influenced many leaders in many countries, and the anti-war movements in countries as far apart as Germany and all the way to New Zealand. Who was this man that 41 countries spread across our planet paid tribute to him by issuing postage stamps in his memory, the countries as widespread and disparate as Brazil and the Congo, Britain and Hungary, Ireland and Mexico, Senegal and Suriname, the USA and the USSR, Trinidad and Tobago, and Greece, the land of Socrates and Plato. 
The visitors who come to Mani Bhavan have no lift or elevator. They must walk up the staircase as Gandhi himself did to discover the meaning of his truth. It is not in the nature of man, of civilized man, to use violence to achieve any end. Gandhi's strength lay in the fact that he refused to compromise with violence. This is the house in which Gandhi lived in South Africa when he stood up against racial prejudice. This is the Sabarmati ashram, where untouchable and Brahmin alike, Muslim or Hindu or Christian alike, came to converse with him. And this is the Sevagram ashram, where the leaders of the subcontinent came to talk to this man, who had no authority, no position, except his adherence to the philosophy of non-violence. At Mani Bhavan, there are multilingual guides to answer any questions concerning not only the philosophy of Gandhi, but even his personal life. These miniature models depicting the life of Gandhi begin with South Africa, where he first experimented with his philosophy of non-violent non-cooperation. This was the first step in the battle against apartheid in the 20th century. In the many years after he returned to India, Gandhi sought continually to reconcile differences between Hindu and Muslim extremists. He traveled to the remotest rural corners of India, exhorting the people not to use foreign goods and to be self-reliant. One of the miniatures depicts Gandhi's trial for sedition. A remarkable feature of this trial was the courteous way in which Gandhi insisted on defying unjust laws and welcoming punishment. And equally, the courteous manner in which the British magistrate apologized to Gandhi for being compelled to sentence him. Gandhi said that next to air and water, one of the basic needs of humankind is salt. And why should common salt be taxed? This led to one of the greatest non-violent marches in the history of the world. Gandhi and his followers recovered salt from the seashore and this led to brutal repression by the British. In India, when violent communal riots broke out in Noakhali, Gandhi went there to restore peace and harmony and his message spread across the land and violent people began to lay down their arms. Alas! The tide of communal hatred could not be stemmed. It is one of the profound ironies of history that the apostle of non-violence should have been killed by an assassin's bullet. As Jawaharlal Nehru said at the time, the light has gone out of our lives, but the light of Gandhi's spirit still shines. Even now we can remember at Mani Bhavan, on this terrace, Gandhi had pitched a tent. One day in each week he spent his time in silence, meditating. It is here that one early morning at 3 a.m. to be exact, that he was arrested in 1932. This simple, semi-naked, dhoti-clad man, whom the unknowing called a naked fakir, and the people of India called Mahatma, the great soul. It is incredible that in this simple room, the soul force of Mohandas Gandhi generated a power to fight all evil and injustice in the world through peaceful methods. In the words of Albert Einstein, generations to come it may be, will scarce believe that such a one as this, ever in flesh and blood, walked upon this earth. Who are we to say how people react to Gandhi's idea of a world without violence? They make their notes, they carry away their thoughts and impressions 
of whatever they've experienced in Mani Bhavan. We can only ask, because of this man, this Mahatma, will the world not be a better place to live in? <laughs>